Hi guys, I'm really worried about my future. I make like 40 bucks a month now. My entire month's wages are the equivalent of two copies of the Emoji movie. <laughs> anyway, due to my YouTube channel slowly but slowly dying, I decided to seek out an alternate means of employment, building and managing a zoo. I went to the very prestigious Big Lebowski's College of Zoology to get the certificate required to acquire my license to run the zoo. What's that? You've never heard of my college? Well, colleges didn't talk, so how would you be able to hear it? You big dum dum. So first thing in my zoo is going to be a viper. What's that? That's not a funny pun at all. Well, this is a zoo, not a comedy club. Lower your expectations, woman. So first thing about making a zoo, you need to get animals. From where do you get animals? Amazon.com. They teleport right to your doorstep. Or even inside your house if you want them to. Or anywhere really. Once I needed a dealer, so I just teleported right into my butthole. Great service. No wonder that Jeff Bezos guy is a billionaire. I ordered an African elephant. So once you get your animals, they're going to be unconscious. Apparently, the teleportation process does something to them. So, you're going to have to make them stand and stuff by yourself. The swimsuit pose is very popular among elephants these days. But let's give it a more natural pose. And we're done. What's that? Jazz if elephants can't fly. I saw Dumbo once. You can't fool me, haters. But as a smart zookeeper, however, I'm going to have to ground my elephant because its favorite food is groundnuts. How am I going to feed that to him if he's airborne? Brains. Next up, we have the African penguin. Wait, Africa makes penguins too? I thought they only manufactured the savannah type animals and stuff. Either way, penguins really like water, so in you go, baby. Next animal I ordered was an alligator. Wait, why is it white? <sighs> First you want to whitewash Hollywood. Now you want to whitewash the animals too. Now, I'm not racist, so I'm not going to return this white alligator. But next time I order a gator, just send it to me in its natural bubblegum pink color. Okay, Jeff. Jeff will listen to me. He's a nice dude. Next animal I ordered is a very beautiful, handsome alpaca. Now, we can't allow these animals to be roaming around the park free. No, no, no. So, we have to build cages or rather enclosures for them. Here we go. And done. So, you're probably thinking, hey, aren't the enclosures a little small? Well, I am a first-time zookeeper, so the budgets are a little tight, okay? I'm sure the animals understand. Small? No. Cozy is what it is. Next animal. Animal I order is an anaconda. Looks like Amazon accidentally teleported most of its body into the ground. Hang on, let me get it out. There we go. Oh wait, why is the other one still out? Looks like I forgot to put it back in. Just a sec. Sorry, that was from earlier when I was googling images of cream pies. Don't know why, but people get off to this stuff. I was only checking out what the fuss was all about. I didn't really, uh... uh Okay, uh, I'm getting a hard on again. I'm gonna close this image. So any good zoo requires toilets because people have to pee and poop sometimes. I learned that in college. Unfortunately, Amazon doesn't seem to be sipping potties. So being the smart zookeeper that I am, I have to improvise and make best with the resources available to me. So I've placed two sinks here. The right one is for sitting. See, you can even use the tap behind your bum as a bidet. The left one is for washing your hands. But what if people get confused and <gasps> use one sink for the other purpose? Disgusting! I'll have to make a sign above the sit sink to signify that it is a sit sink. Now, an average zookeeper would have to hire a person with an art degree for this job. But fortunately for me, at Lebowski Zoo College, we already had a fine arts course so that we could be prepared for situations like making this sign. Not only is it better looking than any person with an art degree could ever make, but I've also saved thousands upon thousands of dollars that one would have to pay to come up with such a beautiful piece of art for themselves. Now, just in case someone decides to be naughty and poop in the hand washing sink, the toilet is open air so that I can keep an eye on them to make sure they're pooping in the right one. If I get a hard on while watching them poop, it's only because I was thinking about cream pies. Anyway guys, next my animal is an armadillo. What's that? It's an armadillo and not an armadillo. Okay, you wanna bet on that? If I'm right, then you guys' arms are dildos. If y'all are right, then armadillo. Let's google it. See? Well, guess what guys? That means your arms are dildos. You... Armadillo? Just kidding. It is actually armadillo, but I edited it quite convincingly to look like armadillo. They taught me these mad skills at college. Anyway, armadillos eat ants, so I'm gonna keep this in the soon to be constructed cafeteria. So when you sloppy eaters drop crumbs in here, I'll release the ants to clean that up for me. And then when the crumbs are done, the armadillo will come and clean the ants up. This way, I don't have to spend $10 an hour on a janitor. Wait! 
Janitors make ten dollars an hour? That's unfair. They make so much lesser. Maybe because they actually contribute to society, unlike me. Next up, we have an Asian elephant that does not look very Asian to me. His eyes are round. Anyway, let's transport him safely to the African American elephant enclosure. Wait, what was that? Jazef. It's just an African elephant, not an African American elephant. Well, guys, my zoo is supposed to be set up in the USA. So if I bring an African elephant here, what does that make him? Actually, never mind what that makes him. I feel like it's making me sound like a racist. But I'm not a racist. I'm brown. I'm like a minority, guys. Minorities can't be racist. That's a fact. Look it up. Anyway, we're going to set the Asian American elephant on top of the other one because they're best pals now. This looks like a Renaissance painting of some sort. Next animal is a badger. Wait, I'm making $2.3 a day. How can I afford all of these animals? Down payment free EMI, baby. Well, I don't want this little guy in my zoo. Zoo anymore because he's a badger. There's only place for good jars in my zoo. Oops, he died. Don't worry, I'll give him a decent funeral. Don't tell Peter. Next up, we have two brown bears. One of the next broke while setting him up, but he's okay now. Just gonna add him here with the elephants. A bit of mixed race harmony. Now we have a bison. Nah, this one looks like crap. Let's order another one. Nah, this looks worse. Let's try another one. Yeah, this one looks more detailed. I like the black face. Remember, I'm not racist because I'm a minority. Anyway, Amazon has a no return policy. I know that because my parents tried to return me once. But Jazef, you were born from your mom's womb. Amazon didn't bring you into this world. No, you're wrong. You see, my parents ordered me online and then this Amazonian woman came and delivered me into our house. Looks like she didn't want me either. Anyway, this bison is actually my illegitimate son that I myself had originally put up for sale online. Was into a bit of bestiality back into the day. Anyway, get into that wall, boy. Bye, son. Yeah, I just set up that whole bestiality thing just so that I could make the bison pun. Next animal is a rhinoceros. Why is the rhino serious? <laughs> <laughs> gonna keep him with the elephants and the bear. Tight budget, tighter enclosures. And now we have a camel. It's a defective piece. It does not have eyes for some reason. That's why I'm able to get them cheap. Anyway, this is a grassy area but camels like the desert so... I'm going to keep him alone in this dark room and let him be... Deserted. <laughs> so I ordered two black chimpanzees, but they sent me a black and a white one. Whitewashing continues to be a problem in zoos these days. But you know what's better than a black or a white chimp? A brown one. I'm basically putting up myself on an exhibit now. I got a gorilla. Let's put him up here. This is an emu. It's a large flightless bird. Gonna put him up on the roof. Hope he doesn't jump off of it. Nah, he won't. He's an emu. Only emus do that kind of stuff. Here's a flamingo. Here's an isopod. True story. I used to sometimes find these little guys in my bathroom and toilet and they used to kind of freak me out because they, they're bugs, dude. They, who doesn't get freaked out by bugs, am I right? But after I found the isopod memes and stuff, I realized that they are pretty chill. So I just let them be. In the freezer. Just kidding. I'm a good boy. I don't kill harmless little creatures outside of this game. It's the summer season. Super now that the isopod is dead, let's kill it again. Isopod? More like pie support. You guys are disgusting. You all just sat there and let me drop this little guy off the 10th story of a building? His health is critical now. It's all your fault. Let me quickly set up a hospital bed for him so that he can rest. One like on this video equals to one prayer for eye support. If you don't like this video, he dies. That's on your conscience, buddy. Actually, you know what? 1000 likes and I'll make a video about going on a date with eye support. This video might not even get 500 views though. Like if you can. I just set up the new giraffe. Hippo goes in water. And now I'm about to set up the aquarium. Let's order some fish. This is basically me when the waiter shows me the menu and I point out at what I want to order. It's not called obesity. It's called being thick. Okay, take your judgment somewhere else. Poor delivery. All their tails are stuck in the sand. I'm going to have to write a complaint letter to Jeff about this. Now, the fish may not be moving, but that doesn't mean that they're dead. They are just conserving their energy. This isn't a petting zoo, but it's still raining cats and dogs, am I right? Gonna need some shelter for the enclosure. Now, an average zookeeper would probably put up a metal roof above their heads and call it a day. But an extravagant zookeeper like me? I'll use King Kong to protect them from the elements. 
He attacks, but he also protects. Now here's my star, Traxxin, the lion. Yup, not the gigantic King Kong hanging in the sky without any harness. Since the lion is the king of the jungle, he's going to need his own special place. Can't have the king set the same space with all the other peasant animals. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about you guys. So I got this whole building built just for him. Thing is, there won't be cages up. Groups of people can just step in and take pictures of him. And you know what's the best part? You won't eat anyone. Unless he's hungry. So yeah, if you're going to visit him with your family or something, make sure you send the most unpopular family member first, just in case the lion's hungry. Then you and the rest of your family can take selfies and stuff with the lion with ease. Because you're not at risk of being attacked anymore. And you just got rid of your pesky family member. You're welcome. The next animal we got is a saber to tiger. Ow. Anyway. For our last animal, we have a walrus. Now, just like the camel, a walrus can't live on this grassy terrain. So where do we put it? You guessed right. They don't call it a walrus for nothing. They taught me how to wall mount it in college. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Channel update. I brought back subtitles since I'm back to making weekly videos. So I'll have time to add them in. Thanks a lot for your support to this channel during these hard times for it. Appreciate it. Goodbye.